Hey guys, my name is Siniak and welcome back to another pointless City Skyline experimental video where today we're going to be causing havoc. We have a beautiful little town all set up and what we're going to do right now is we are going to completely ban the use of vehicles in this little town. How will the city cope? Will everybody start walking? Will everybody start riding a bike? Well, we're going to find out, guys. We're going to find out right now. If you guys do enjoy this and want to see more fun little City Skylines experimental videos, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get no further. The next episode does come out. Now, here we are. Beautiful little city right now. Little town. And for those eagle eye viewers, can you guess where this is from? I'll give you a second or two. Can you guess? Do you recognize it? Yeah, no. Well, this was the uh, the the little town that I built when they first announced the uh, the fishing kind of DLC. I say fishing DLC. It was the Sunset Harbor DLC, wasn't it? Uh, which implemented the ability to create a fishing industry. And this is the city that I uh, well, the town that I built when I first checked this out. Now, what's great about this little town right now is it has a solid highway connection, which looks pretty good. It's got a train line that brings, at the moment, only in cargo. We have uh, some residential and commercial, so it's all pretty much jazzed up. And we have this whole industry area down here that relies on fishing. Now, I believe there is no zoning for any kind of industrial apart from this. And this city, this town right now, was what? kind of sparked the idea of the fish town series where i pretty much built a fully fledged city um based solely off the fishing industry which is really really cool now what i'm gonna do today then is i'm gonna completely ban the ability for them to use vehicles we'll kind of do it in stages we'll first start with the ability to um you know ban uh, combustion vehicles all that kind of jazz heavy traffic try and encourage biking and we'll slowly creep it to the point where we've literally banned all vehicles i mean let's see how this city pretty much kind of navigates all of those obstacles so i mean the first thing you do then is we actually create this as one big region because there's a bunch of policies that we can utilize uh which would be kind of handy for us so i'm actually i won't actually or oh, do i bring it down to that i'll, I'll actually kind of end it like there because we can see what we can do with it now we do have a cargo train coming in so that cargo train will probably be very very handy for the industry when they can no longer bring in um or use heavy vehicles but then again where are they going to take the goods from once they come in because they can't use these heavy goods vehicles we'll see what happens sometimes when you put the game into a corner that it can't back out of it will it will push the boundaries it's 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 interesting so first things first then, we've got this new industry, uh, this new region, sorry, should I say. And we are going to first, uh, kind of, a heavy traffic ban. Bans traffic uh, on an area, make sure they're, okay, so basically no heavy transport vehicles allowed, does not affect highways. Interesting. So we'll toggle this. We'll encourage biking, this will get people to try and use stuff more often. We'll then also encourage uh, the ability of electric vehicles, only for now. And we'll also ban the combustion engines. That's quite a lot of things from the get-go that we're setting up from day one. So we're basically saying, no heavy traffic, which is going to eventually remove all of the cargo vehicles. Uh, we're encouraging the biking to get them to start biking more, but also we're banning the combustion engine, meaning no you know car vehicles that use gas or diesel but we are saying you can use electric cars so we we haven't technically got rid completely of vehicles just yet now we're going to see a lot of vehicles still driving around at the moment because we kind of banned them while they're still within the region so we're gonna have a little fast forward then let some time tick by and again you were still you will still see vehicles driving about because not all of this is fully going to ban them so you can see they're just doing their thing right now. They're living life. A lot of this uh, vehicles coming in, they're pretty much um, we're already on their way anyway. So they're not, not going to stop. They're not going to turn around. Not going to do anything right now. But we still have a few other tricks up our sleeve that will be really really handy uh, to be able to make sure vehicles literally cannot come in and out of this area. So let the time tick by. Let all the good things happen. Now, when you want to break it down into kind of its final form, 
uh, there's two sides of it. There's the pedestrian traffic and there's the commercial traffic. Now, if I could ban all cargo vehicles, then we still have the train lines to import the goods. Now, you ban vehicles driving in the region. How do people get into the city? Well, one way in which we can do that is to make sure that we kind of give them their best chance by incorporating a train line. Uh, and by that, a train station. So I'm going to add in, which is a very, 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 very simple train station right now. Nothing fancy, just want a standard stop. And I'm thinking if I just implement it somewhere like uh, here as like an end run. And then, uh, and then that way, if we do truly ban all vehicles, at least the trains still have the ability to bring people into the area. So I'm going to drop that to there. It won't be amazing, it won't be perfect, but it should do a decent enough job for us to kind of keep us somewhat alive, <laughs> is the best way to pull it. Now, does the city look a little bit more quieter, or are they completely ignoring everything that I'm telling them to? you probably argue they're ignoring everything that I'm telling them to right now, but are these the electric vehicles? Electric car model, Edison, model 5, electric car electric car so even though we tried to ban the vehicles we, again we still had the option for electric but it's obviously doesn't apply to these fishing trucks by the looks of it so what happens now then when we ban electric vehicles full stop well that is what we're going to see next so no electric vehicles so get rid of that and we'll see how this then changes the city you can start to see it does look a little bit more quiet it really does now, what you'll probably still see lingering around is going to be all the servicing vehicles. You'll see the garbage trucks, you'll see the police cars, you'll see the ambulances, you'll see the fire trucks. All of those guys should still be ticking along right now. So we still have the odd electric car at the moment, but hopefully that should start to die down. And am I seeing more people use bikes or is it just me? Someone using a bike just there. So we are starting to see a few people using bikes. Again, we have set up the ability to encourage the bike inside of uh or the biking aspect of all of this so hopefully then this train station is what's needed then to start bringing in people from outside of the region who would normally come via uh, the roads but again they're still ignoring me see what i mean guys they just don't want to play by these rules no more but the roads do look a lot quieter don't they, they well, we're starting to get there we're starting to get there now, in terms of all of these policies, you're pretty much at the limit. You can't really do anything else right now. You really can't do anything else. I mean, in terms of services, there's nothing really here that will kind of help us. In terms of stopping the vehicles, nothing there. So this is where you have to then take it to the next stage. You then have to then manually say to some of these roads, Yo, listen, we don't want these type of vehicles anywhere chugging down these lanes so what i'm going to do then is we're going to select our vehicle restriction and if i select this section here if i turn off the ability to have no cars on hopefully they will listen i don't they don't normally like to play ball so apply you know let me let me do this so i can do, look, apply vehicle restriction to the end of the road so that adds it all the way down I could do the same here as well. So no vehicles. Apply restrictions all the way down. Now how much are they going to listen? So initially these vehicles coming in. They were already on the way. Oh. Oh. Did they stop? Yeah. They disappear as they get down. Okay. This is the way you do it. This is to, to fully get all this system working. Now granted we're going to let some vehicles through to keep the city alive. Which would be at the moment are servicing vehicles but don't worry we'll eventually ban everything all right apply to the entire road so that is the main road section right now you might still be able to crisscross this way but at the moment going back and forth down here is a no-go for a lot of these vehicles right now it is a complete and utter no-go so do we switch things up because they're still able to kind of crisscross over here actually are we seeing any vehicles that's not a service vehicle or anything like that. There's garbage trucks, there's police cars. There's a hearse. Another hearse. Do you know what? I think it's actually working, guys. 
There's no vehicles around here, apart from obviously the old commercial vehicle and service vehicle. That's new now tooting along. Interesting. Has a train come in yet? I don't think a train's actually come in. Oh, there we go. Right as I said that. Uh, do any, many people get off? Yes. So this is working. We're getting one step closer. Now, uh, here's where it's all going to slightly go downhill. Here's where it's all going to slightly go downhill right now. So now if I go back to the uh, the vehicle restrictions, this is where some stuff you're going to need. So if I literally said nothing can come down here to that one, we shouldn't start to see any vehicles making their way down, which completely bans that entry point. Now, if I apply it to here as well, right, close all this off. They can't come down there. So their only entry point now is here. Fair enough. Do the exact same thing here. So we kind of then slowly filtering it all in. And if I said the same to this, at this point now, we should slowly not see any vehicles on this side of the town. That's what is should technically now happen. So this should all start to slowly die down. Unless some of the emergency vehicles are going to completely bypass my rules. They, they do seem to still be able to drive completely through it. Now, is that because they're able to do it on both sides of the restrictions? I mean, they stopped driving. Oh, no, they're ignoring me. They are literally ignoring everything I'm telling them to do right now. Right, okay. Okay, we're going to apply this all down these roads. Oh, I just realized I can ban all vehicles. I can do it that way. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. Right, ban all vehicles. So I've banned all vehicles coming down. We'll do the same here as well. Ban all vehicles, the entire road. Ban all vehicles going down. But yet they're still tooting along. And they're still able to get from point A to point B. Now, are they completely bypassing it? They can drive out, but they can't drive in. Because obviously they still need to drive back to their depot. To their main building. Is Could that be the issue? Panel vehicles on the entire road. Gonna make sure no one can get in right now. Because it does seem like it's getting a little bit more quieter. And it's just a case of waiting for them to then come out. But no, that police vehicle just came in. Do you think the police vehicles can completely bypass it all? It's definitely getting a lot quieter right now. By the looks of it so far, it's only the police vehicles that are able to bypass my restrictions. Now, I think they're only bypassing it when their lights are flashing, so when they're on the way to an emergency. But then again, the garbage trucks are able to go through as well. Hmm, maybe you can't 100% ban all vehicles. But there's definitely nothing coming on these roads. Okay, okay. So the next step then would be to ban all vehicles on now for our cargo side of it and just by doing that little side here and we'll do it here as well look how quiet it's now gone not a single cargo vehicle can make their way through holy smokes now my other option then is these buildings that have the vehicles giving the ability to kind of go places like the police station I could turn them off, but again, what good is that then at this point? Because the garbage will start to rise. The police station's just here. I turn that off. The fire station. Do I have a fire station? Oh, I don't have a fire station. Uh, medical stuff is just here. And then the death care. Here, isn't it? Yeah, the cemetery turned off. Now, we 
definitely 100% no longer have any vehicles coming in and out. Which is monumentally a bad decision all round. People are walking. They love to walk, boys. And we'll still have trains coming in. Dropping passengers off. But what will ultimately kill the city is the backup in garbage. The backup in bodies. Who just drove them? Somebody in a jeep by the looks of it. Uh, the backup in bodies, the backup in garbage, the crime rate will increase. And that, as time goes on, is what will eventually kill the city. So is it a good idea to ban traffic? I mean, it's a hilarious idea. But is it a good idea? Probably not. But it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. You can now start to see the land value increasing. Now, I can only assume that is down to the fact that the garbage is starting to rise. Where do I see the pollution again? So... It's got to be down to that. Or it could be the fact that we just don't have any more... Uh, few, too few services. Uh, no, the ground is definitely becoming polluted, isn't it? It doesn't say it just yet, but we're going to have patches in just a moment. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's see what is the bare minimum we can enable. That will still make the city functional. Now, what would happen if I even banned... With the vehicle restrictions. On the roads that they're meant to be on. I'm not sure. But that will go around right now. Collecting all the garbage. We'll get the dead bodies out of here. So we'll re-enable that again. Re-enable the police station. Re-enable the medical clinic. And let's see if the city can slowly come back to life. Let's see if it can. Um, we'll see how far it can go with this. So once every, once it all gets resolved, everybody who's died off and left will then slowly start to move back in. Thus creating a little bit of a spike on the amount of people who are using the train station. So it's waiting for more garbage trucks to go around. I don't know whether... Oh, okay, so me killing, me saying, no, you can't do anything on this road, literally has stopped the vehicles coming out. Okay, let me, um, okay, apply. Allow all vehicles. That's weird, because now that I've enabled it, for vehicles to be able to come in and out, the garbage trucks don't want to, Come in and out. Or was it down to the fact that... Oh, no, I think it was down to the fact that they needed the police vehicles over there. No, because then when I re-enabled that, they disappeared. Oh, this is so confusing. Right, anyway, we'll get the garbage trucks in because we do need to kind of collect some garbage so the city can kind of slightly be active. You know what I mean? It would be so cool if there was a mod... Where you could have police patrols and medical patrols and garbage patrols that didn't use vehicles. It was people that walked around. And maybe the garbage men just, just grabbed one trash can and then walked all the way back to the garbage plant. And then the, the community police officers just walk around trying to solve crime. And the medics just walk around with like a med kit. Trying to make people better and all that kind of stuff. Then we could truly have a functioning city that didn't require any vehicles whatsoever. But the industry, you might as well call it a day on the industry because the industry, they do need traffic to survive. There's no question about it. They need their traffic to survive. But at least they listen, unlike some of these vehicles right now. At least these guys listen. Another garbage truck going back, dropping off. There's so much garbage to collect right now. It's unreal. It is unreal. Do we have any new trains coming in? Not that I can see at the moment. Not that I can see, but we've truly turned it all off. The city will not survive. So at some certain extent, you're going to need a few bits and bobs. But even we are struggling trying to collect all this garbage right now. It's absolutely hilarious. But guys, is it a good idea to get rid of vehicles in your city? The answer is no. Is it fun to watch them suffer? 
Wow. That's a yes. <laughs> Guys, until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, get it.